I'm gonna be here today to kind of brainstorm some ideas and concept with like fireflies and I like bring that concept into Photoshop. Let's jump into fireflies. Click on this, you see like this is like a very complex like prompt, you know. I always use like portrait mode because that fits uh, social media um, a right. lot. Content type, I personally prefer photo. On the popular, hyper realistic, that's something I always use. So let's see if we can turn the same prompt into a photorealistic photo. So I actually really like um, the example here. I'm just gonna download this real quick and then pop into my Photoshop. This is like the fun part where like you can literally just draw very simple shape. I'm just using this as like a reference. Right. So we'll just lower the opacity. So just like, hey, I want more tree here. And then maybe I want a house here. This is the thing we created. By dropping to composition reference, and I'm gonna generate it to see if Firefly will generate something similar to that based on the prompt we just type in. Oh yeah, look. So it kind of like read like what I just draw like <laughs> very like, basically. <laughs> mind blown. Okay, so a cool concept is like, let's say like if there's like a tree house, I just do like that. Don't judge my drawing, please. That, that just like puts on like fake legs there, right? Cause it's like the tree house is walking away and then we're gonna have like some uh, dark forest and stuff, right? So we gotta name this as reference. And so we're gonna start building so cool. the scene. So let's start with a uh, fluggy forest. Actually, I like this one. I was a lot. thinking that way yeah. too. I would just pull that into here. And so, in my head, the house we drew earlier would be like right here floating. But you see, like when you type the prompt floating, right. uh, Kevin actually give you like a better referencing with the bottom part that's also built. And download it, jump back into Photoshop. Yes. So, what I did here, basically, I press W as a selection tool and press select subject, come in T or control T, and then right click for perspective, and then kind of just like. Fix that right about there. So we gotta jump back into Firefly. Um, now we need to figure out how to build the the lake of the house, right? right? I personally thought it would be interesting to use a uh, walking sticks box lake. So I'm just gonna do that. I don't know what is it gonna select. Oh, perfect. Okay, so like a mess. Um, refine edge tool. Basically, it's just like gonna refine the edge, so make the fuzzy selection part even better. Make sure you're selecting the mask. Press B, brush, and then working on removing this part. So now we have a leg. <laughs> so basically what I did is just Control T, Command T, and then uh, transfer, flip it. Da, 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 da. I'm gonna turn that, flip it, horizon, rotate it, and do that, and then select both, doing this. Now it's like a little mouth, you know. So what we need to do now next is like a bunch of like editing to make sure like this thing does match like the color corrections and everything. So some of my favorite tool is right here, adjustment layers. So I'm clipping mask to the whole group of the lake. Uh, reduce it kind of like, cause it was like the wrong color. It was like very yellow saturated, but the background right. is like more like a green and dark. The highlight of this, you kind of want to match like the highlight here is like at least putting the same color group of right. like the darkest part. And then like, you know, it should be like very similar color scheme. That's how you make everything like kind of blending automatically. Create a new layer, simple somewhere around here, reduce the opacity and then kind of like pan it around, get it like a glowing, airy feeling, right? And then we can do screen onto top of that, reduce the opacity, go on filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and then probably put like, uh, match the background, I'll say 1.3. And then go back on here, add noise, add noise, you know, like putting them on there, cause it has to match the background noise and everything. Right. So you gotta do the same thing to the house too. And maybe even add a little bit like yellow. That. Like, okay, and then we're gonna create this other layer uh, here. That just put all this group it together. This is the glowing light, right? And then we create an other adjustment layer for the brightness. And then you can press B brush, going back in like that, you know. The other thing is that we need a reflection of this. I am gonna see if I can copy this whole thing. You can do something like that. And we just do motion blur um, to like 180. You can also use the smudge tool. It's just dragging left and right to like kind of like giving like a more like water. To distort it a yeah, little yeah, bit. Yeah, distort it a little bit. Changing the blending layer mask to like darker multiply or something and then reduce the opacity, right? This like look wow. more like swampy and horror movie kind of vibe. Actually, that looks pretty cool, right? That does look yeah. amazing. So then like we have like, you know, uh, the scary buggy monster. That's great. <laughs> It was Sorry. so amazing. Thank you so much for <laughs> sharing this the with us. Yeah. Bye.